In this video, we're going to look into the signs of a slope of line. You know, try and understand that whole thing about like, you know, what is the significance of a sign of a slope of line? So we are, we are going to ask a simple question and answer that as well. We're going to look into a simple question that, that is related to the signs of a slope of line. All right, here we've got that question which is going to be related to the signs of a slope of a line. So that question is, what can be said regarding a line if its slope is positive, zero, or negative? So first, let us look into what can be said if, if the slope of a line is positive. All right, here we have the first case. So what, what can be said, you know, when the slope is positive? Now, we have slope m equals tan theta, right? So if you need to get the slope as positive and not zero or negative, theta has to be greater than zero, right? It has to be greater than zero and less than 90 degrees. So that means theta lies between zero degrees and 90 degrees. So that says that the inclination of the theta is an acute angle. So that's what you can take away when you see that the slope of a line is positive. Whenever you see that a slope of a line is not negative or zero, you have to understand that the theta lies between zero degrees and 90 degrees. It lies between zero and 90 and is not even equal to zero and 90. And therefore, that, that theta is going to be an acute angle. So that's what you can take away when you see that the slope of a given line is positive or not negative or not zero. All right. So that is the answer for the first one. Let's look into what can be said regarding a line if its slope is zero. So when the slope is zero, that is, we know that m equals tan theta. So if the slope has to be zero, then what? Theta has to be zero. That is one way of looking at it. So if theta has to be zero degrees, what does it mean? It means that the line is the x-axis or it is parallel to the x-axis. That's what it means. So when you see that the slope of a line is zero, what you can take away or what you can understand from that, from that data is that the line is coinciding with the x-axis or the line itself is the x-axis or another way of looking at it is line is parallel to the x-axis. That's what it is. That's what it means when the slope of a given line is zero. Let's look into the final one. What if the slope is negative? All right. When the slope is negative, we again still have m equals tan theta. All right. So in this case, this, the m has to be negative. For that to be negative, a theta should be greater than 90 degrees, right? Theta should be greater than 90 degrees and theta should be less than 180 degrees. So if you see that the slope of any given line is negative, then you can say that the angle in which it is inclined with the positive direction of the x axis is that lies between 90 degrees and 180 degrees or that theta is an obtuse angle. So that's what you can understand if you see that the slope of a line is negative, that theta is an obtuse angle. So here we are. What can you understand when the slope of a line is positive, zero or negative? It's all given here. So this data is going to be helpful while we solve a lot of problems based on slope of lines in the forthcoming videos. All right, so that ends this question or this topic and as well as this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more concepts based on slope of a line.